I'm Dan. Yeah, I'm Dudley. I was about to pull your mic. No, don't do that. (laughs) Welcome to the show. Uh Uh-huh. Welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. Welcome How are we doing? You look I'm tired. very alert. I'm you tired. You look very like ready to rock it's and roll. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Uh, how you doing? I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see that you were rubbing your eyes before we started. Yeah. Uh, are you sleepy today? Or are you deprived I'm of sleep? It's been a long day. I've been driving uh-huh. and you know we just mm-hmm. had a lot going on today. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm glad I have Monday off today. <laughs> Off. Yes. In honor of MLK. Mm-hmm. And our dad. And our dad, because mm-hmm. our dad shares a birthday with Martin with, Luther King. Yes. And mm-hmm. our mother shares the same birthday. And this is true. This We're is not making this up. This I think we talked about it on the show. Have we talked about it on the show? I think so. Our mother has the same birthday as the guy who shot Martin Luther King. Yeah. Take that to mean what you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, Prophecies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Foreshadowing. Yeah. The oracles have spoken. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> so yes, it's it's we we are lucky to get today off. Yes, which is nice because we work in education. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, uh, and so I'm very much looking forward to doing that. Yes. Though we have yard work to do. Yes. And uh, some other things, but mm-hmm. otherwise, it's gonna be a good day. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, shall we talk about some games? Sure. Yeah. Sure. I have been playing um, Cyberpunk 2077. Yes. I've encountered some bugs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just a As few. to be uh, expected. Sometimes it's minor things like... Your dick people... is out. <laughs> no, well, I haven't experienced my dick being out. No, I, I mean, uh, if you I, don't I look down... I haven't had uh, any ghost dicks. Um, I will say that, uh, like, a lot of it seems minor, like people just walking through things mm-hmm. or... They're you're, they're looking one way and then their head just flip, suddenly twitches and looks the other way as they start talking to you or something like mm-hmm. that. Uh, the weirdest one I saw was that uh, uh, I was having a scene with Keanu, Keanu, who was sitting in front of me mm-hmm. and he was smoking a cigarette, but then I guess he just let go of it and it was just floating, mm. <laughs> just a little floating cigarette, uh-huh. and I'm like. Are you going to finish that? What's mm. happening here? Uh-huh. Just sitting there floating in front of him. I don't know if it was supposed to stay on his hand, but didn't. Yeah. That was weird. Uh, and then the thing, the bug that keeps happening that drives me insane. Yeah. Is that there will be a window that little pops up on the screen that's like craftable like schematics for crafting things. or I don't know what it's supposed to be. Yeah. But it's a window and it has like an object and it's like craft, but there's like a button, a green section highlighted or something yeah i have no way to interact with that window and get it to go away mm. so it just stays there yeah i can go into the menu come back nothing the only way i can get rid of it is to save the game go back to the main menu and load back into the game yeah and it goes away but it's happened to me multiple times mm-hmm. and it's really annoying because it just takes up a little segment of the screen just sitting there and i'm like yeah. how do i get you to go away and I try Googling it, but all I get is, like, crafting instructions and guides. I'm like, I yeah. don't want that. I want to know how to get this bug to stop. Uh, uh, you, you, did you add uh, crafting instruction bug? I, get, I did. I uh-huh. did exactly what I did. And I, did you put uh, parentheses around it? No, I didn't put it. So it knows it's talking about yeah. all of it? Yeah, I understand. Um, you know, the Google algorithms? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm enjoying the game. Mm-hmm. Though it seemed to just be bombarding me with things to do. Yeah. Like a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> they start off with like, oh, I can go here or here. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go here. And while I'm walking on, oh, you could do this. And you could do this. Or you could do that. Or you can do this. Mm-hmm. Some guy's calling me. Hey, come call me. Okay. Some other person calling me. Hey, call me. Come see okay. me. Okay. I'm like, stop. <laughs> is I it like uh, is on a level of... Of, of of annoyance is is it like Grand Theft Auto, uh, five where Lester calls you constantly? Uh, I mean it's on that level. I think. Uh-huh. Like I was in the middle of like going through some of the main quest stuff, I guess, uh-huh. and uh, I went and beat up a guy for information, and then I'm standing out in the hallway talking to another character, and in the middle of the conversation, like we're having a, a dia- serious dialogue, and I get a call 
which it answers. And now I'm talking to some guy, the gun dealer, who's like, hey, you want to come get in a shooting contest? And I'm like, <laughs> so I have two conversations going at once. He's talking to me on my phone. She's talking to me about serious shit. And like, then I have like four options of responding to him and responding to her. And I'm like, God, what is going on? There's just, there's so many. I'm a little overwhelmed. There's too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I get it. It's, you know, free roam, run around, pick and choose what you want. But I'm like, okay. You got to you got to let me seek it out. Yeah. Sometimes. Like, you're, you're just too much. There's yeah. too much going on. I have like, Three or four people waiting for me to come see them. Got gun gun guy saying, "Oh, it's happening right now." I gotta go meet another guy at the diner or something like that. I don't know. It's just so much. It's just like I'm kind of at the point where it's just like it's just too many things. I I too many things, too many options. Like, uh-huh. just calm down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like so, you just need to stop playing and yeah. never pick it up again. And, <laughs> and it's kind of weird because like the map is not that useful. Yeah. Like it is that I mean the over like when you're you. Pick somewhere you want to go, it, it'll draw a ma- line on your HUD map. Mm. But when you look at the map, it's got all these, like, three-dimensional buildings to, like, show these buildings around, which are sitting on top of, like, there's layers of locations. Like, you know, you can go down below and, go, like, you know, there's overlapping stuff. So it's really kind of, if you're looking for a specific shop, unless you tell Market to say, I want to go there... It's really hard to tell where the hell it is. It's mm. just like, I don't know, is it in this building? Is it next to the building? Is it two levels below the building? I don't know where this shit is. Mm-hmm. It's weird things like that. But I'm like, well, I don't know where the... I was looking for... There's these, like, graffiti things you can, like, collect. Like mm-hmm. Some kind of card thing, collectible thing. And I thought it was on the side of a building. And then I realized when I went back to my apartment, it was right outside my apartment. But I couldn't tell that looking at the map. Mm. <laughs> it was. It's weird little things like that that I'm like... I'm kind of just annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> or like, I just want to play and enjoy this game, but you're just bombarding me with all these things, and then your map doesn't seem to make sense half the time. Mm. So I-, I like the game, but it's kind of like testing my patience in some way. It's a bit much. Uh, it's a bit much. I was reading a, a lot there ta- an article talking about <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077, <20, laughs> yeah. and it was saying that the game was announced in 2020, 2012, right? Yeah. Didn't really start development until 2016. Really? And when they announced that the, uh, that the, when the, the, the people, the head people said the game will be out April, uh, whatever, of 2020. Yeah. The people developing the game, the actual workers on the game were like, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> they thought it was a joke. No. Oh. And was like making you know bets on you know when it was gonna get delayed and like yeah. had internal memes about it. Yeah. Like the based on their progression progression at that point, they didn't predict predict the game being done till twenty twenty two. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So not surprising that. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. And apparently, yeah. there's a lot of pipeline problems where it's like a lot of times when someone needed a something, they would just make it themselves yeah. and wouldn't find out if someone else was working on it. Yeah. Or there was some management issues with oh, the yeah. game comp- in general. It's, it's a little jittery. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of strange. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are children just wandering around. Yeah, yeah. We talked by about themselves. That. Uh-huh. Which is really strange looking. It's uh-huh. like normally just above the ground, daylight, okay. But I'm like in some weird seedy areas, and there's just, just children walking down the street looking like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm uh-huh. like, holy shit, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> Where are your parents? And apparently, according to him, those the model for the children are just shrunken adults. And that's model. what he said, and I was looking at him, and I was like, I think I'm a little more to it than that, but I kind of. Yeah. yeah. But they just shrunk. Bigger. They shrunk some of the adult models, yeah. and then that's that's the yeah. kids. Yeah, some of them look a little strange, mm-hmm. and some of them look like children. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been weird. It's a weird experience. Yeah. So sometimes it's hard for me to feel the motivation to be to engage with that experience. Yeah. Uh, I want to. I'm really interested in the story and what's going on uh, with Keanu and myself. Uh-huh. But like you have to, to do a hundred other side quests yeah, before I, you can figure out who's talking to you. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But <laughs> like, I have five conversations going on right now in 2077. <laughs> I'm not sure which one 
my options are for yeah. in front of me. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. I don't know. It just seems like they piled on a lot of things, and I'm just like... It seems like they, they went for like, quantity. I have all that stuff going quantity on. Quantity over quality. And I still have to go and find out why some some uh, automated taxi destroyed my car. Oh, Which yeah. I don't have a car right now, so I'm walking everywhere. If you go do that, you might get a new car. Maybe. Or they might kill me. You should you, you should go get it. You I should, don't know. I think they owe you a car. I don't know. It's a weird game. Uh, uh, do so you yeah. feel like you could handle the threat of the auto taxi? I don't know. But the ga- the menu where I can pick it as yeah. my objective says uh, chance of danger like high or something yeah. like that. But have you uh, have you encountered anything else that is in that level that you feel like you could handle it? No, I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> None of the other things say chance of. I mean, they high. do, but I don't look at it. <laughs> well, you gotta have a point of reference. Oh, yeah, I need a baseline. A baseline, and yeah. you gotta you gotta look at the mission. And I'm just see. trying to play the game. <laughs> It doesn't uh, want you to play the game, Daniel. I don't know. Because if you play the game, you'll find the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's it's been weird. Mm-hmm. I I went to one part of the main one of the main part of the main story. I guess I don't really know. I went <laughs> well, to, part of a story. I went part of a story. I go to the cloud. I think it's called or cloud or whatever. It's a cl- it's so a you sex go into club. the AWS, it's, the Amazon. Uh, web servers. Yeah. No, I I go there and like <laughs> they use my profile to like map pick the the ideal person for me like partner or whatever. And then I had two to pick from a male and female. Okay. And then I pick one and it turns into this weird existential conversation. And I'm like, I thought this was a sex club. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just came here looking for I someone. I didn't come here for therapy. I came <laughs> here to get laid. No, no, I didn't even come there to get laid. I came there trying to find someone who worked there formerly. But the only way to get and in... And to get laid. The only way to get in was to pretend to be a customer. At which point I thought, oh, well, my character's going to get laid. And no, I'm just... Got this person talking to me about why I'm not I'm dying. <laughs> and I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> yeah. It's mm-hmm. it's a weird game. I like it, but it's weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um Yeah. It's like this high class sex shop and I didn't and have you, sex there. They're really gonna weird. blow your mind. <laughs> they blew something. I don't know. Um it's just it's a weird game. I uh-huh. like it, but it it's weird. Uh, um, you hear to hear, Daniel. Da- yeah. uh, listener, Daniel likes it. It's weird, but it's weird. It's weird, but like I like put it. that on the box. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, but I like it. <laughs> Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the I yeah I don't know what else to say about it other than that. Um, mm-hmm. I will keep playing it and let you know how it goes. Uh, yeah, if you can get through the if you know five conversations at once. Yeah, I know, um, <laughs> and and the, and the random cigarettes floating too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, at least you can say he wasn't littering. Uh huh. He just left it in the air. He left it in the I air. I don't know if that's burning. considered littering. He well, didn't throw he it on the ground. Well, doesn't exist. Oh so yeah. There's that whole so the thing. cigarette doesn't exist. Exactly. So I guess it still makes sense. It still could, it could know, just be a bug in my head. Yeah. Nope, that, maybe that's why the whole game is that way. Yeah. It's, it's just not, it's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> the whole thing is bug meant to look bugging, buggy because it's, it's all in your head. Dan. Yeah. It's all in my head though. It just seems like it's buggy because I'm fucked up. Yeah. All my cybernetics yeah. are fucked up. So I don't know. It's eventually, weird. you're gonna get to the point where the game won't work, and it's an <laughs> because, analogy for because, your life is fucked. Because if you don't make any is... of the right choices, the game just breaks and yeah. you're done because you broke your own brain. You broke your own brain. <laughs> uh, this week, and yeah. actually right now, uh, Battlefront Two is uh, the free game on uh, 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 Epic. On Epic, yeah, the Epic yeah, launch. So yeah. uh, we grabbed it. Yeah, we did. We played it. We did. Uh, it's fun. The, it's it's pretty. It's, it's pretty, pretty fun. fun. We uh, got in with a little four uh, four player co op thing going on with yeah the, with Ham Mayhem. and Rob. Yeah, Ham and uh, S Rob. I had not played any of the Battlefront games. I uh, have not either. Uh, uh, this is the first one for me. Yeah, um, it was kind of fun. Yeah, playing. It's kind of uh, weird. It's kind of weird because, system, doesn't it? Yeah, because like 
you have different sides, and then the different sides will have like certain heroes that fight for them, mm-hmm. and so you end up with these weird team ups on weird look. Like it doesn't make sense cano- canonically. Yeah, like we're all fighting on Star Killer base, and uh, and. Mm-hmm. Ray's here, yeah. and there's Darth Vader <laughs> and yep. Palpatine, yeah. all showing up at once, and yeah. they're like, and it's alarming too because you're like, oh shit, that's Darth Vader, and you're like, yeah, ah, yeah. Can it be possible for because you there's a Anakin is in it too, yeah. Uh, is it possible to have well, Anakin on one side? Well, I think there's errors and stuff. So, like, you, you play certain errors, oh, so maybe so not. The, so, uh, so maybe it wasn't like Vader. I think well, Palpatine definitely showed up, but then like. Because I was playing Ray fighting Palpatine and Kylo, which makes sense. Uh-huh. But uh, which was funny because there was a part where I was playing Ray, and uh, we were fighting on Star Killer base, I believe. Uh-huh. And here comes Palpatine running through the ranks, and I'm like, everyone's like, "Shit, it's Palpatine!" And yeah. I'm, and I'm like, "I'm gonna take him out." And they're just whacking him with my lightsaber, and I killed him. I'm like, "There we go." Yeah. That's just, that's how it goes. There we go. We have a. This is the plot of. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, it's the whole, the whole thing right there. Right there. Done. <laughs> Spoiler, uh, by the way. Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> which was funny, but we also like Ham and I were playing before y'all got on, mm-hmm. and we were playing. It was uh, we were on the droids team mm-hmm. fighting against uh, clone troopers. Okay. And uh, oh, so like prequel there. Yeah, and which was weird because. Well, I we we were playing. We became. We were. We both got heroes. He was playing Darth Maul, uh-huh. and uh, who never fights with the troopers, the the uh, robots. No, because uh, he was in the first but, movie. Yeah, and before the robots. Before show. the Clone Wars and all that stuff. But mm. anyway, uh, I'm playing uh, the. No, maybe not. Maybe there aren't there battle droids in the first one because the whole fight on Naboo, right? This is before the clone. oh yeah, he was there before the clone troopers. But he didn't but fight in that battle at yeah, all. Yeah, no, no, he he was doing something else. Uh, I think he was busy getting cut in half. Uh, yeah, but anyway, he was Darth Maul, and I was General Grievous. Yeah, in the buddy cop duo you've always wanted to see, mm-hmm. Grievous Maul. <laughs> yes, <laughs> which was really funny. So we were like just kind of camped out on the land. Uh, Grievous and Maul point. this week on Grievous and Maul. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one guy doesn't talk a lot, and the other one has a raspy voice. Yeah, one has See a- what happens. <laughs> Asthma and mute. <laughs> well, he's not a mute. He, he does a mute. talk. He does talk. Yeah. In fact, when I rewatched the prequels, I forgot. I thought he never spoke. But he no, speaks he does a, have few a few lines. lines and I'm but like, oh, he barely weird. ever speaks. Yeah. And then, but he does talk in like mm-hmm. the Clone Wars, I yeah. believe. One I- doesn't have any legs. The other one has a. Asthma. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's just, like, weird. Like, we were both just laughing at you how silly it was. most of Grievous' time is spent looking for his inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I have four lightsabers, uh, and I cannot find my inhaler. Yeah. yeah. One uh, of these is my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> which one is... Uh, it's, he, which he is misplaced. really fun to run around with Grievous yeah, spinning, he's spinning all the yeah, fucking lightsabers and stuff. It's just a huge amount of fun to, and satisfying to be like, oh, I'm going to play this character. Even characters I've never seen before. Like, they're just like weird infantry. Alien stuff. characters, yeah. Yeah, like there's one I played a whole bunch where he has like a minigun type mm-hmm. thing that spins and just blasts. Yeah. I play that a lot. And yeah. it's a ton of fun. Uh, yeah. But I mostly just want to f- run around using lightsabers to destroy people. Yeah. Uh, I did that a little bit. Yeah. I, I played Obi-Wan a little briefly. Yeah. And then I played, uh, I think, Anakin. Yeah. At one point. There was one point where I, I think I was Anakin or Anakin or Obi Wan. I can't remember. I think I was Obi Wan and Ham was Anakin, which yeah. is kind of funny. We were uh, just... One thing I did appreciate, and it's the uh, you could put the clone their uniforms. Yeah. You could put their Clone Wars uniform. Yeah. But it's their re- it's the realistic version yeah. of them, so it doesn't look like the Clone Wars. I was like, it oh, doesn't look like the animated version. Yeah, it doesn't look like the animated yeah. version. So it's like a really you get to see what a, the realistic clone. Yeah. Y- armor they wear mm-hmm. uh, well, that's, that's the cool thing about it is like because it, the, the free bird and whatever you they unlocked it unlocked all the skins and stuff you don't have to go get a lot of that stuff yeah like well, so some you of can just still yeah locked. some of it's still locked you have to do the challenges but a lot of them are just like oh i want to be grievous yeah. when he's all damaged and yeah. sparking or, or you can be uh maul with legs maul with or, robot legs or yeah. you know or whichever you know kind of robes you want yeah i mean there's like every version of kylo in it it's yeah the it's cool. mask the first movie kylo and yeah. unmasked kylo and then like the uh 
with the reforged mask. The and, scarred one with the scar. Yeah. And then the reforged mask. Yeah. And, and so you get you gotta pick which you want, which one yeah. you want. And so that was it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I. I like it. I, I played a little bit of the single player stuff yeah, I haven't where you done play, that yet. It, which is weird because you're playing for the Empire. Mm-hmm. And it's it flipped re- back and forward, I thought. Well, it starts off you're fighting for the Empire. Oh. Uh, and no, I'm thinking of Squadron. You're thinking of Squadron, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because it starts off and you're like, ah, yes, those rebel scum, and you're like murdering rebels, which mm. is weird to do. And then you're on indoor when the Death Star gets destroyed. And you're like, mm-hmm. shit, we got to keep fighting, though. And it's, like, all about Operation Sender, and mm-hmm. there's some cool stuff going on. But I'm like, this is interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of enjoying it. But, yeah, I'm walking around killing rebels, <laughs> and it, uh, which is strange. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm just ambushing, and, you know, I'm, like, part of some kind of elite uh, special forces squad for the Empire. And mm-hmm. so I'm like, well, this is weird. I'm going around murdering rebels, you but think, all right. Do you think when the Death Star got blown up the second time, yeah. people were just like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but no, they kept like, my, I, the character you're playing is a believer, I guess. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd like to play it some more, but yeah, it's a lot of like, walk, kind of sneaking around and mm-hmm. like, t- you know, try, taking out guys and you got a little droid that goes and hacks things for you. You always have a droid that hacks yeah. things for you. It's, it's pretty That's fun. Star Wars yeah. 101. Yeah. Every game, you get some droid that goes around that, that hacks hangs out on your back that hops, yeah. goes and yeah. does, does things for you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, like it's like kind of like oh that's cool that makes sense in his lore but it's nowhere existed in the ga- movies except for like R two yeah but he like rolled around on his own yeah he doesn't like ride on you but they always yeah. invent some little day that way that you can hide away when you're not like uh-huh. need you don't have to animate some another yeah. character running <laughs> around with you uh but yeah it's it's tons of fun I had mm-hmm. a lot of fun just playing it with it, with Ham and just running around yeah. in weird little scenarios uh, it was fun battles. I played a little bit and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I need, we'll probably have to play it some more mm-hmm. um, it's pretty good um, I, uh, I just today I was hanging out and Eden was playing some more Sims 4 mm-hmm. so some changes have come about because she made us in the game right yes, I talked about yes we talked about the yeah. recreation of y'all yeah and um, uh, well, she didn't realize she, that she started us as adults, uh-huh. not young adults. Okay. So we're like in our 40s from the beginning. Oh, okay. So we're already, like starting off, we're older than we are now. Uh-huh. And now we're old people. Oh, really? With a preteen okay. kid who's like 9 or 10. Okay. Who has curly hair for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, but here's... So she was showing me the updates, what's happened to us. One, we both look old. Mm-hmm. We both are fat. <laughs> uh-huh. Because uh, you both quit your jobs. Well, so. yeah. And I, my lazy ass teleports everywhere and doesn't walk anymore, apparently. Because <laughs> a certain thing I notice is, oh, I'm fat. Uh-huh. And I'm just playing the v- VR, uh, augmented reality game, yeah. Blick Block. That's all I apparently do. And practicing my magic. Which, by the way, I have used... To make a clone of myself, oh, God. which is something you can do in the game. Uh-huh. So she showed me that I said, "Is someone playing Blick Block?" And she's like, "Yeah, you are, but you're also over there in bed sleeping." And I'm like, "What?" And mm-hmm. she's like, "Yeah, there's two of you now." <laughs> so my guy, my digital Dan, is sleeping in bed and playing, and playing video games. So your dream is happening. Living the dream, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> you're just fat and you because, don't walk anywhere and you can still, teleport. Yeah. We only have one stat bar, like, of, of, you know, it's not like they're two separate characters. It's one character with one set of, like, uh... Stats. Like, yeah, um, stats, whatever So you one are. sleep, so gain... Yeah, I gain sleep, and I can still play Blick Block. That's weird. And I'm fat. Yeah. So did I was the, like, oh did my the body God. always sync up? Well, they both look the same. Yeah. And I said, this, oh my God, apparently the clone's temporary. Uh, but it is something you can do to double up on your activities. Um, and so we were both old and fat. We're in uh, on the, a house that didn't wasn't built to have doesn't have an extra room for a a kid. Mm-hmm. So the kid is sleeping in a bed, just sitting in the hallway. Oh, God. And I said, "Wait a second, Eden is the 
kid's bed just in the hallway? I was like, she's like, yeah, there's nowhere to put that bed. I'm like, you could add a room. <laughs> and she's like, no, I don't want to change it because this is our house. I'm like, but the kid's sleeping in the hallway <laughs> next to the kitty litter box. <laughs> in the hallway at the end of the hall. <laughs> bed, little twin bed. Well, thank you. Kitty litter box. It's a three bedroom how? I know. One of them just being used as a one's as an a office. studio and one's the office. I mean, you could have just come like yeah, m- moved some of the studio stuff and made a bedroom. You would think like a real human <laughs> so I'm being. Wondering, I'm thinking we should never have children because <laughs> they just sleep in the hallway. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was weird. Mm-hmm. So I came back to a lot of weird things going on. Um. Clone, mm-hmm. fat, yes, kid in hallway. Okay, next to the kitty litter. Uh huh. Um, however, apparently, Digital Dan is a master sorcerer. Never def- duels all the time. People call the house and just like we want to fight you, and they go, "I do a magic Harry Potter dueling, and I defeat. I have none defeated. I never lose, mm-hmm. but I'm also fat." Uh, but while I was hanging out watching her, like just. You know, wondering about questioning our reality and <laughs> what, what is going on with our lives. Uh-huh. Uh, she learned. I I was doing some potion brewing and I got a a lean potion. Oh, so it makes you thin. And I drank a potion and now I'm not fat. <laughs> I said, "Can you make? Can can I? Can Digital Dan make one and give it to you so that you won't be fat anymore?" And we don't know yet. <laughs> so that's the the jury's still out on whether. Uh, I can magic the flab away. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Sounds it's, weird. It's a weird game. Mm-hmm. It's a really weird game. I am mm. also have been instructed to, I was given a bunch of images of cheats that I needed to print off to bring to her. Because <laughs> she's like, I can't used to have them memorized. I don't want to have to keep looking at it. Can you print these off for me? I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> so... Weird stuff's going on in our digital lives. Uh-huh. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The kid's going to be messed up. Yeah. Sleeping in the hallway Just next to shit. Next to the, <laughs> the cat litter. They're going to have no sense of smell. Mm-hmm. And probably have some kind of condition because of the ammonia. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, birth defects will probably be a thing. Yeah. 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 And, you know, in the game, there's only so many options for hair and look. Mm-hmm. So, Eden and I here aren't in real life are kind of similar, but not that similar. Uh, they're pretty much identical in the game, right? They ha- we basically have the same hair model. Yeah. And now that the color, we've gone gray, they're both exactly the same. Uh-huh. So, but I thought, oh, well, we, they have the, that's one thing that we have exactly the same. Our kids should have the same thing. No, our kid had some weird curly hair. That's I'm like... Is it? It's not yours, Daniel. No, that we didn't know anyone else when it happened. And sure. Like at this point, we sure. couldn't even get people to. We didn't have enough friends to have a wedding. I told you about. Yeah, this. Yes, yes. We I had know. a naked wedding. Well, now you can clone wedding. yourself and you can witness your own wedding. I could. I could marry ourselves. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. Uh huh. So there was no other person to be around to, you know. Too. So this is what happens to y'all if y'all become social inept. I don't know. We you, quit you our jobs. Fat, you get really good at magic, but you're fat. Yeah. And uh, y'all have a kid, but uh, child service is on the way. <laughs> I, I was thinking about calling child <laughs> services as it is. I was like, should we have, let them take them away? Because, uh, yeah. What is happening? <laughs> no. Weird, weird, weird things happening. In I, I keep ho- waiting for... I, I, I think you have to pay an extra fee to get it, but I think the EA stuff is on Game Pass, and uh, I think you have to get the uh, the more premium version of the Game Pass. Yeah, I never see it on there. And I'm tempted to get it just to play some Sims, because I haven't played Sims in a long time. Yeah. And doing, like, you know, I'm, murder I was, houses. Like, it's and been <laughs> fun watching Eden play, and that kind of gives me all the enjoyment I probably need. However... I would spend just a whole. I I do all I ever really enjoy. You doing know, in a game one is, of the packs is Star Wars, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, that kind of makes me want to play and yeah. be a Jedi or something, whatever. Yeah. Build a Death Star in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, um, I I I always just like building houses in it. Uh-huh. That was always my favorite part. 
So I would just be like, yeah. I want to build Oh, house. yeah. I mean, that, yeah. Cheap the house. and give me all the money so I can do whatever yeah, I want. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, it's funny because I'm going through the magic realm, mm-hmm. which is this magic realm yeah. I teleport to now. I don't even have to make a portal. I just teleport. Uh, I teleport to, and uh, I've been dueling all these people. And then I was dueling some, some lady, and I was like, wait a second. It's an older lady. I'm like, wait a second. Is that the s- every time I've watched her play, I duel the same woman, mm-hmm. the same person. Like keeps fighting me, and I beat her every time. It's her. She's just gotten old. Uh huh. And then I start looking at a bunch of the characters who are in the in the magic realm, and they're all old too. So we're it's all, all the same people. It's like all the same character, all gotten old with us, and uh-huh. we're all just old people doing. You magic. need to come up with a young potion. That's, right? what, That's what I was saying. Just like, can like, we can we de-age ourselves? I've cloned myself. I've got myself skinny again. Yeah. Can we do a de-aging? I don't know, mm-hmm. but. Put that magic to use. Yeah, exactly. Apparently, I'm doing all kinds of crazy things. At least I can, you know, magic the fat away so yeah. that I don't, that, you know, all the... That's called pooping, Daniel. All the re- 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 <laughs> repercussions I'm in the bathroom not magic- walking anywhere anymore. I'm magicking the, the, the fat away. <laughs> I don't toilet. think that's how it works. If you it's wanna actually leave, a, if you wanna code leave for I'm making myself puke. Oh, that's yeah. that's really... No, let's not talk about it. Let's not do that. No. No, no, no! I don't. No, that's not funny. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Uh, I got because I was traveling this weekend, so mm. I I need a game for my Switch. Yeah. So I grab uh Super Mario 3D All Star, mm-hmm. uh, which is the new anniversary pack that uh for Nintendo that has uh Super Mario 64. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And Super Mario Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, all three of those in yeah. one game. So are and you just starting from the beginning and playing all? I'm just gonna start from the beginning and play. I haven't played it much. I started up Mario 64. Yeah. Got to the first level and I was like, it's been a long time since I've mm-hmm. done this. Yeah. And trying to remember, and the controls are, are, are they're fine, but they're different. In my memory of the game, it's it's weird because. The 64 had a weird controller. Well, yeah, you used the the C yeah. uh, pad well, the, to the little the yeah, yellow the look, button move around, to move around. Your vision. Yeah. Uh, move your camera yeah. view and stuff, it and still it's not that? like that. No, well, yeah, kind of, but mm-hmm. it's weird. Yeah. It's just like it's such a bizarre mechanic yeah. for the game because it's been, you know. What, 30 years? Yeah. No, not it hasn't 30, 20 years. 20 years since yeah. I played it. Yeah. It came out in 97. I played one of the remakes on, like, the yeah. 3DS or something like that. Yeah. But um, probably the last time I played it. Doesn't it doesn't fill the whole screen. That's kind of funny to me. Oh, is it just 4x3? So, like, it's, it's got, like, black bars Still four on, by the, three? <laughs> on the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> little black bars on the side, which uh-huh. I think is hilarious. Uh-huh. Um, um, but it, it's a... Uh, it's interesting. It's, it's, I mean, it looks like, like the, the original game. So yeah. See, uh, I never played any of the other two. Odyssey or, or Sunshine. I played Sunshine a little bit. Not but I remember that. renting it, I think. Uh, yeah, I maybe played a little or bit, Robert but not had really it. playing it. Yeah. But I don't. I, did, I had not played uh, Galaxy. No, no, Odyssey. Which Odyssey, no, Odyssey's, Odyssey's the newest Odyssey's one. The newest Galaxy's, one. Galaxy's at the planet. Yeah, hopping. I have played Odyssey. I played the crap out of that. Yeah, I haven't played either of those. Um, yeah. I yeah. played a little bit of, of Sunshine, and I haven't played uh, Plant Galaxy, um, so it should be fun. Um, I'm gonna sure. try to play through uh, uh, Mario 64, mm-hmm. and then uh, go from there. Yeah, well, uh, I'd like to see how it, here it is. How it yeah, is. Uh, it might be fun just to go one to replay 64, and mm-hmm. then to play re- and play the two I never did play. Yeah. The- um. But yeah, so I grabbed it and I played it a little bit. But uh, mm-hmm. and then while I was traveling, I happened into a half price books. Yes. And I picked up something. Uh huh. Yes, I, I saw that. You, I, uh, they had a used copy of Clank in Space. Yeah, which is I think a good find. Uh yeah, it was uh thirty bucks. Nice. Which I think is normally like a sixty. It's normally a sixty dollar game. Uh, so you but you know, it's one of those things. I was like, it had been opened, and I yeah. was like, ah, I hope there's no pieces missing. Yeah. And I'm gonna. I was like, okay. You should pull up the list. Of it has the on the box. Yeah. And then everything and, is supposed to be in. And it. on the it's supposed to be in. And I was like, surely they checked this. Yeah. 
when they take it in. Yeah. Uh, so I was just like, I'm going to trust the half price books people yeah. and buy it. And I got out to the car, and then I took the tape off of it that they used to seal the box. And uh, as far as I can tell, the person who ever owned it did not play it. Yeah. It, the cards are all still clean and brand new and yeah. still have that new card feel. Yeah. And uh, it looks like they opened it and got the board out, but then just didn't play. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, everything else looks like it's still in the package. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I was like, all right. Cool. So I haven't checked it, um, but at some point we're going to have to give it a try. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Cause uh, I love rec- the regular Clank, mm-hmm. and I'm kind of fun excited to play a sci-fi version of yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely, definitely have to play it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting playing because all the card art is different. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it has a lot of the same stuff. Yeah, but it's probably the same thing, just reskinned. Reskinned, so. Mm-hmm. Um, and the board is modular. Yeah. So it's not like just one board. It has pieces yeah. to it. So it was all in a bag. And yeah. Then, so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll have to look at it and see... Uh, See if see it's how, different. See how different it is. Yeah. See if there's any. I'm sure there's some new mechanics to it. Yeah, there? I'm certain. There's uh, probably some different things or some of the same mechanics just reskinned. Yeah. So sometime in the near future, we're going to play Clank in Space. Yeah. Oh, let me say that right. Clank in, in space. space. It's funny. If you look at the box, it's every word in the title has an explanation point. Yeah. Clank. Yeah. An N yeah. has an explanation point. Yeah, well, yeah. And space has an explanation yeah. point. There are three explanation yeah. points. So it's clank, clank in space. space. Yeah, there we go. There's no echoing in space. There's no I echoing in space. There's no sound in space either, but yeah. you know. Yeah, whatever. You uh, know, whatevs. <laughs> if we're making sound in space, we can make it sound like we want to. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Any uh any other games you play? That's pretty much all I played this week. I didn't play a whole lot. Yeah, I didn't either. I I, I played Battlefront two and then a little mm-hmm. bit of Mario and and like I said I was traveling this last day, mm. so I uh I didn't play much else. Um, so should we move on to the news? Sure. Okay. Um, so there's this new website. I say new. It may have been around for a while, but new. <laughs> it's new to me. I like how you're saying this. Like, like, I, there's a new website. Well, not I really. It may new. not be. I just now know about it. Uh, either way, uh-huh. I'm telling you about it now. Okay. So it's news. Um, called 15.ai. Have you heard of uh, it? No. It's a website that l- lets you type text into a box, mm-hmm. and it will spit out a recording based on the character you pick. And there are different options. Mm-hmm. So you can have different characters say whatever you want. Okay. And the reason I bring it up on our gaming show is yeah. one of the characters is GLaDOS. Oh, really? From Portal. Yeah. Portal, uh, yeah, Portal 1 and Portal, Portal 2. 2. Yeah. Uh, in the, I've seen one good example of this being used. Uh-huh. Uh, they had GLaDOS sing a song uh-huh. that is currently in the pop cultures. Okay. And this goes by WAP. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I got to say, it works pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I need the it. cadence I, I, is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, if you want to hear GLaDOS sing WAP. 15.ai? 15.ai. I tried to pull it up. It's the number 15. AI. Oh, it's not spelled? Not spelled out. It's 15.ai. Uh-huh. Um, now, I try to pull it up, and it wouldn't fully load for me, but apparently yeah. it's kind of getting a lot of use. So yeah, so it's bogging down It's a bogged bit. down a little bit. So the, it came up, when I loaded the website, I had a, warrant, a deal. It was like, hey, this is free, and there's no ads. Just, you know, if you make something and you share it on social media, you know, say, tell us, don't tell everybody where you may got yeah. it. Yeah. So you just you just promote Make sure, them. yeah, yeah, and, and it's being give it's, credit. Yeah, well, um, it wouldn't get. I couldn't get past that logo. <laughs> oh, I had. No. I was like, is there an X or something? I put nothing. No. I couldn't close it. You couldn't. So do I like. I wasn't able to mess with it. Oh, okay. Um, uh, but I did find some. It's people. still open. You couldn't cl- couldn't get out of it. Uh, no, I closed. It. I gave up. You it, said you couldn't close it. I, no, I could close the page. I couldn't close the box on the page. So. I don't yeah. understand. Um, so the box is the page. No, the box is like an a, a warning box that pops up on some pages, <laughs> and you can't. You usually hit an X and say yes, allow cookies. Uh-huh. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> and uh, you always allow cookies. You you have to if you yeah, want to get to the website. Yeah, you want to get. I mean, just like Santa, mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta allow the cookies. Just like what? Santa. Santa. He I thought you said cookies. sadness for a second. It's like, like you sadness. Gotta allow the cookies. You gotta allow the cookies because of sadness. Mm-hmm. Um. So go check it out if mm-hmm. you can get to the page and yeah. try it out. I wanted to. I if I can get to it, I may get it. Uh, I may spin out a clip that we can play on the show. That would be fun. Um, we could let it do um do some lines for us. Yes. Uh, let's see what uh uh-huh. see what happens. I think I, I think one of the other characters is like a SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Um. <laughs> and then I'm not sure. And then there was some. I think there's a. Uh, My Little Pony or character or something. I if you search fifteen dot AI on like Twitter and stuff, a bunch of them will pop up. But it was a bunch of characters I didn't know, so I was yeah. like, okay, this just sounds like a voice recording. I don't yeah. get it. Um, so, but uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to check that out. That mm-hmm. might be fun. Uh, so there's a new paintball game on Steam. <laughs> yes, yes, there is. Uh, I've seen this. Uh, it is. It's called Six Seasons and a Game. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. you're if you're familiar with the, uh, the, sh- uh, the TV, sh- show. TV show community, yeah, uh, that was said to have six seasons and a movie, mm-hmm. which it never happened. No. Uh, uh, the community had a always had a paintball episode every season. Yeah. Uh, or most seasons, and uh, so this. Uh, game group, these game developers made a free game that uh-huh. is a paintball game yeah. that you can just uh, run around Glendale, Greendale, the, Greendale. which is the, uh, the, the college, community college that, yeah. that, that shows that, and play paintball and shoot each other. Yeah. Um, for understand, it's kind of buggy and real, but it's, it's not not terrible, and it yeah. has a pretty good fan base. So it's got like, like mm-hmm. you, if you hop on, you can get into a game pretty quick. Oh, um, there you go. So it's a little, little like, oh, yeah, it's kind of fun for a few hours. Yeah, but kind of, kind of interesting mm-hmm. that we we got a fan made, a <laughs> fan made community game. Yeah, that's funny. Uh-huh. A community it's not made, finished. I think it's still a, in, being worked on, but a it's, community it's, made community game. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, we already covered Cyberpunk. I was on my list. Uh, yeah. The, it was originally what the developers thought it wouldn't come out until 2022. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the the oh, the the oh, CEO, whatever the title the, of CD uh, Project Red, R- Project Red had to already come out and apologize for the problems and yeah. um, said they will not be crunching to uh, uh fix the issues in the game and they'll just fix it as the you know time they're not going to force people to work overtime to fix it um and they're trying to alleviate the the problem of um excessive setting uh, setting un un uh reasonable uh deadline deadlines and two years before the game way too early yeah i mean they announced it four years before they actually started working on it it's kind of weird (laughs) kind of weird uh, Mario Kart. Yes, a guy named Mike, okay. and I think his last name's Chowie. Chowie. I don't know. Mike Chowie. It's C H O I. Choi. Choi. No, I think uh, he said in the video, and I I tried to go. Okay, that's how you say it. Now I can't remember. Anyway, well, it looks like Choi. Choi. Uh, he made a. Mario Kart accessory that is a bicycle that you pedal to play Mario Kart. <laughs> and then, awful. And, uh, and it ha- uses the fit ring as oh, a yeah. steering wheel so you can steer. Okay. And then you have to squeeze it <laughs> to uh, throw your items. Okay. Yeah. And if you don't pedal fast enough, you're just slow. You don't press the gas button. <laughs> and the whole video is he shows how he made it. It's pretty funny. I re- I watched the whole thing. Uh, it's like a 22-minute video. Yeah. I watched the whole thing because it literally built 
this little device they call Tabo, which is just a, literally a, sen- a deal that co- communicates with the sensor, and it presses the buttons for you. <laughs> and so it's this little box that attaches the con- to the controller, and it has two little thing plastic deal that no- one detects when you push in, uh-huh. and it presses a button uh-huh. on the controller, and the other one detects if you're still pedaling uh-huh. from another sensor that s- detects the pedal that's uh-huh. going by. Uh, and if it's not, if you're pedaling fast enough, it'll press the uh, go button in uh, <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds awful. It's apparently really difficult. Yeah, I um, imagine. Because they use keep it, it going. Otherwise, for the whole otherwise it just uses the turn sensor yeah. for uh, the normal controller. Yeah. Uh, to steer. So you know how that's kind of yeah mm, wonky. It's a little finicky. Sometimes. Yeah. Um. And then he, it's pretty funny, he even made an amiibo for it, <laughs> which is also pretty impressive. Uh, it's called Tabo, uh, which is the mascot for this device. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's because he, Tabo holds, holds the controller, uh-huh. he has a little uh, controller he carries with him that he uh-huh. can take out. It's magnetized. And, <laughs> and it's actually pretty, pretty good looking. Uh-huh. Um, pretty funny. Uh-huh. Go check it out. It, it has some absurd name because he took... The Fit Ring, uh, Mario Kart, the Labo. It's like Labo Fit. Uh-huh. Uh, and then the t- uh, Adventure Cart. That's what uh-huh. it is. Labo Fit Adventure Cart. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. It's absurd, and it's really funny, but it's also kind of interesting ha- watching him, he, mm-hmm. he, you know, how he created it. Uh, it's pretty pretty funny. I, had, mm-hmm. I highly recommend checking it out. Another Mario Kart game, yeah, uh, the mobile game Mario yeah. Kart Tour, yeah, has a penis car now. A what? A penis car. I a don't... car shaped like a penis. I, okay, it's more like a bullet. No, no, it's definitely uh, 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 anatomically correct. <laughs> no, it, it's it, it's sausage shaped. It's the. Uh, sure it's, it's not part the of the Oscar Mayer. It's part of the uh, the Berlin tour. Uh, okay. Update. Uh, so Luigi's got a sausage car. Oh. That looks like a Wiener Schnitzel? like a uh, <laughs> like a banger, <laughs> as it is called. Uh, is but it? it's basically a penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I think. It's one of those things where it's like... How did, it get, of, how did they get this far along without someone saying something? Does it look like a penis? Uh, <laughs> is the people working Nintendo that innocent? I doubt it. Or... They probably were in on the joke. They gym. cannot be. I mean, surely they didn't go all the way through without going, oh, they we know. can't do this. They know. I mean, they know. It's very, they very know what they're uh, doing. sausage-y. Yeah. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. So if you want to check that out, <laughs> check out Luigi's Sausage. <laughs> check out Luigi's Sausage Car. Um, Lucas Games. Yes, is returned. Uh, yes. Uh, it used to be. It was there was apparently there was Lucas Arcs. Yes. Uh, is the game company uh, was shut down when mm-hmm. Disney bought mm-hmm. Lucas Film. Yeah, bought all, all the film stuff, all yeah. the Star Wars stuff. Um, but they co- brought back the branding, Lucasfilm Games. Mm-hmm. And uh, they've also announced a few things along with that. Yes. Uh, including uh, that uh, 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 Ubisoft, mm-hmm. Ubisoft Massive, is wor- is making an open world Star Wars game. Yeah. Which uh, I am intrigued. Which I am intrigued. Uh, Mass- Ubisoft Massive uh, did a... Uh, uh, Division, the, the, the division, yeah. The, the division is yeah. what they. I haven't uh, played any of their. I haven't either. Games. But apparently, the, you can't really go off that because they're not going to be anything like that. Yeah. They said it's going to be a, a completely new yeah, thing. Yeah, it sounds for like them. they're doing a whole different thing. For yeah. Themselves, so curious to see that what that's going to be. Uh, yeah. Still in the early early development. Stage. Yeah, I don't know if anyone listening to the show knows that we like Star Wars. Yeah, we haven't covered it in this episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, we like Star Wars. I mean, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Also, from the Lucasfilm, new Lucasfilm game, yeah. along with Bethesda Studios, Machine Games, mm-hmm. 
uh, who is known for the Wolfenstein, yeah, uh, the recent Wolfenstein games, yeah, uh, is doing an Indiana Jones game, which I'm really intrigued by. I am too. I and hope it's, funny, it's good. I was just talking to our buddy Ricky mm-hmm. about this because huh. he was talking. He was playing. Uh, what was he playing? Oh, he's been playing Red Dead Redemption yeah. too. Um, he's like, and he said. The whole time he's playing it, he just thinks about how cool it would be if Indiana Jones had an open world game yeah. like this, where even if you go from region to region, it's like show the map of the dot, uh-huh. dot, dot, and you're flying yeah. over. Or that's the fast traveling yeah. or something. And he goes, yeah, it'd be really good. It'd be great. And, and then literally like the week after we talked about that, they announced that they're doing an Indiana Jones game. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's apparently a, 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 it's going to be a new story, not mm. based on any existing uh, film. Oh, yeah. Uh, so All should right. be should be interesting. Uh, I'm curious if they'll have Harrison Ford voice them. Doubt it. I doubt it. No, Seems probably. like it'd be too expensive for a game. Yes, but I don't know. I don't know. I maybe don't think just, so. But they caught knows? him on a good day and he was bored. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, they're doing the film. They could just get him to record. You know what, how them. they do it? They just say, uh, "Like uh, we're doing some ADR. We're for- gonna do some Indiana Jones." Uh, but we're not going to bother Harrison Ford. We're going to get this other guy doing it and be like, Harrison Ford be like, no, no, I do it. Get off my game. Get off my game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's exactly yeah, what he did. That's probably it. Because mm-hmm. Harrison Ford can be manipulated that easily. Probably. Uh, <laughs> also from Bethesda, uh, they have delayed the new Elder Scrolls Online event, which yeah. is supposed to happen uh, January 21st. But they delayed it because uh, the inauguration is happening. It's not, it's not an event. It's an announcement. It, well, thing. they've already ha- teased. They already no- made the announcement what it's going to be. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's, in, it's in relation to their new DLC or expansion, whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. Uh, for their days. online, Elder Scrolls Online, called Gates of, the, of Oblivion. Yeah. So it ties into the... Uh, drag... Dra- uh, what... What's the word? It's not demon. It's uh, Drake. Daedra. Daedra. Yeah. Uh. uh all the. All the, the. Well, the. There's all the. The what? Seven. He- yeah. Planes of hell. Yeah. yeah. Planes of oblivion, which apparently the world that you is actually one of them. <laughs> yeah. It's just been altered. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. If so, you read into the lore. But anyway, the reason it got delayed because mm-hmm. it's supposed to be on the twenty first. Yeah. The day after inauguration. Yeah. Um, the presidential inauguration. Yeah. And they thought it would be a good idea to push it Put off. Put some distance between. Put some time between it. Just, just because. Like, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. And so it's going to be January 26th now. Okay. Um, for anyone who cares about that. Yeah. Also announced, uh, it, we knew it was coming, uh, but you haven't, we have a release date now for new Pokemon Snap. Yes, I saw. I watched a trailer for mm-hmm. it. Uh, the, we talked about it a few months ago about it, it being announced, and we were excited about it. Yeah. Um, but it will be out April 30th. It will be. Of this year. Yeah. Um, so, a couple months from now. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Nintendo. Nintendo yes, announced that's the company. a new version of the Switch. Oh, did they? Yes. It's not a new... It's the same Switch, but oh, it's a new, new style. Style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A red one. Yes, it's a Mario one. It's a Mario one. Yeah. And it's a red one. Yeah. And I'm really mad that they that took you... this long and, <laughs> and I could have had well, one. Well, you could have. You could. Yeah, you can still have one. You just I just really have... want one, but the, here's the problem. What's the you problem? You know they're going to come out with like a new version, a pro Probably. version eventually. Been, and I'm not going to buy a new version of the current one when I can probably just wait and they'll come out with a model. Yeah. A newer beefier model and then I, if I'm gonna upgrade I'll do that yeah not but that, it looks good it looks nice it's nice it's got red controllers the whole case is red yeah uh, the, the docking, docking station, station is red, red. yeah comes with its own little carrying yeah. case and I want it yeah I, I knew you would want it I want it yeah well yeah. you can have it you just have to buy it Maybe I can convince mom to buy my cop, my my switch, so she can play Animal Crossing finally. Yeah. And then I will buy take the funds from that and buy a new one. Uh, you, in theory, mm. you might be able to get away with that. But yeah. you're also you say you, that because you, you've done something like I that have. before. Um, but that's not the point. Uh, <laughs> the, pro- the problem is, will you be able to get one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
It's not, it comes out sometime next month. Yeah. Um, I didn't look at the date because I knew I'd be tempted. Yes. I saw the Nintendo Lego, the NES Lego set thing in person. Yeah, I've seen I them. I saw the box. Uh, they're cool. It's massive. Yeah. The box is huge. Yeah. And I really want it, but I can't justify spending $230 on something that's just going to sit on the yeah. shelf. It's amazing how it scrolls. Yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. Really impressive. I really want it. I just want to build the thing. But... Yeah, it's an absurd, absurd amount of pieces. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Uh, Breath of the Wild, a guy uh, did a 1,400 meter trick shot and killed a guardian with a bow. Whoa. Which was pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, and even proved how he got the measurement for 14, how far away it was. Uh-huh. But... It's, it's with the shot is impressive, but being able to see that the shot hit what he did to do that, yeah, also impressive. How do you do People that? People do some crazy shit in that game, yeah, where they like jump down, hit something right, and then it pff, launches them, yeah, and they do all this crazy stuff. So he did a trick shot and then did some way to launch himself over there so to you make can see it. where it hits, yeah, which it hits one of the robot guardians, yeah, and just blows it up, and yeah, I'm just like from really far away, yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Go check it out. Okay. Um, and the last thing, uh, Razer, the company, yes. the accessories makers, Yeah, they do, you know, keyboards, mouse, yeah. usually with RGB, Yes. Uh, the color. They have designed a RGB translucent mask. They haven't designed, they have a concept. The, yes. Their concept. They're not probably not going to make No, they things. I didn't say they made them. I yeah. said they designed it. Yeah. It's you they, know they that, made that's a the concept. right word. I didn't yeah. make they 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 that's were fair. actually real. Um but I hope they do make them cuz I would probably cool get looking. one. They're pretty they kind of cool. made me think of like Cyberpunk. <laughs> they're pretty cool. They're cool. Because looking. I like them for a couple reasons. The RGB. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and two, um uh, can't have enough RGB. Uh uh-huh. two, you it's clear. So you can, so you can see actually people's see, faces. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, they need those. Yeah. Because I, you know, being hard of hearing, it's so hard to understand people when yeah. they're wearing masks. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah. Um, they were really cool looking, but yeah. it is just a concept. It so is we're just not a concept. See it. I didn't say they, and I said design. Yeah. I did not say they produced them. Yeah. Uh, uh, they also showed the, like, a, a, a gaming chair with monitor Where the monitor, monitor like, pops yeah. out of it. Yeah. That, that, it looks cool, too, but it's it's more, definitely more concept-y, oh, like, yeah. concept car type thing. It's oh, like, yeah. We see, did, this, this looks really cool. It's really cool, and we're never really gonna cool but there's no it. way to make this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I think I covered everything for this yeah. week. That was, a, that was a good bit of stuff. There's a lot of news. So, listeners, if you love me. No, no one Buy loves me you. Buy me a like. red switch. No one loves and you. And send it to me. Uh, DM me. I will give you the address. <laughs> um, Please don't. Please don't give people our I'm address. I'm not going to give them the address until they show me a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do any of this. <laughs> uh-huh. That's not happening. We're going to cop this. We're not a charity. You I, I didn't you say it's it. a charity. It's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh and you will get nothing from me uh-huh. except my love. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, and ignoring everything Dully's saying, please go to our website at dudandan.com. That's mm-hmm. D-U-D. You find our email address. D-A-N.com. And you can find our links to our email address. And uh-huh. So you can t- get the address. Other social media Facebook. Find us. Like. Comment. Subscribe. All of which are easily accessible. Shoot us a message if you want to. Not to give us a switch. I will. I'm the one who reads this email, and then it will never. Dudley will never. If you see go it. to the, if you go to the uh, Twitter page, uh, I can get that too. <laughs> um, so just send us a message, or on Facebook. That's a good one. I check it too. Uh-huh. So uh, if you want to send me a switch, or you could just not. And, and you uh, look at it this way. If I get a new switch, I'll pass the old switch on to my mother. Oh, okay. And that'll make her happy. Who so Dobby essential... doesn't even want it? Oh, she does. She wants that Animal Crossing. You know she does. Um. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> I'm Dan May. And I'm Dudley May. And this has been Dud and Dan. <laughs>